everyone welcome to Kelly's creative dream studios and this is take two of this video but I'm hoping by doing take two I can shorten it just a little bit the other one was over 30 minutes long so and you know me I don't like to keep you sitting forever just to look at pretties I'll save the longer ones for tutorials if you've been to my channel before welcome back if you're new to my channel I'm glad you stopped in and I hope you'll remember to like this video subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell so that you'll know when other videos go up now I for the lineup this week uh, tomorrow I take that back today Tuesday <laughs> um, you'll see this spectrum uh, art hall Wednesday this is our finance and budget week Thursday is I'm going to go back to design team Thursdays where this week I'm going to be showcasing the brand new roses and music Digital kit from dear Julie Julie Friday is our tutorial and we're going to be talking cream paste and um, Molds Stamperia mold texture impression molds. So you're going to want to come back for that on Friday Saturday is shop Saturday Hopefully by then I will have stuff in the shop or going into the shop uh, I have project pieces setting out on my table over there And I hope to get to working on them just as soon as I get the blog posts and stuff out of the way and then Sunday We if for stamping up Sunday. We are going to be making um, More Valentine's these are going to be geared towards kids. So for today Tuesday's video Spectrum Art Hall this is going to be a big one because it's the last three orders that I got in from Spectrum Art Creations live sales last December. So I want to get these closed out, put away, because I've already started purchasing for the 2022 sales. So, um, I, as I said, I'd recorded this once before. Everything is sitting in a basket. Since I don't have to unwrap anything, this should go a little faster. Just nothing's in any real order. Okay, I want to start with uh, Sublime Stamps. This is a set of stamps that I ordered from Maddie through a company called, uh, which she's uh, showcased uh, Sublime Stamps, and they have they are custom made stamps. They do beautiful work. Um, I can't wait to see how these details come out uh, in the ink spots, um, the feathering in the quill and inkwell, the different nibs on the on the uh, pen points um, I'll be showing these in a future video um, and we'll play with these I can't remember but I thought she said that these did not come as a set they were sold individually and she thought they needed to be a set so she put them together as a set and that's what I did so that I could make sure that I got all of them together instead of waiting to buy them separately so we'll see I will leave a link to Sublime Stamps down below. I also got this cards from an Alice in Wonderland card game. And I don't know, this one is a Spot the Differences card. I like that. Eight differences between the picture on the left and its minor image, mirror image on the right. Can you find them? Uh, eat Me. You can play your Eat Me card after another player chooses a puzzle card. Place it in front of you and declare Eat Me. The player fails to solve the puzzle. You add the points for the puzzle to your own score. Curious. Something very odd about this looking glass, said Alice. Things change size and color from one thing to another. Who knows what this rabbit shall become? Um, and there's several... There's like three copies of each one. Easy... The Hatter, the March Hare, Tweedledum, Tweedledee, the Carpenter, and five other gentlemen were walking along the beach. Everyone wore hats. Which are the proper sartorial items for a beach stroll? What is the probability that exactly nine of them found their own hats straight away? Harder, you may keep your head, said the Queen of Hearts to Alice, in exchange for a small service. Love that rose. Love that rose. And then drink me. You can play a Drink Me card only on your own turn. You must play it before choosing your puzzle. If you solve the points riddle, you receive double the normal points. And then this is what the scorecards look like. So I'm looking forward to playing with those in my Alice in Wonderland journal. Also, I think the one with the rose, one of those will probably go in my sister's uh, journal, my older sister's junk journal, um, a memory journal. And then we have... Puffy stickers from Prima. 
and these go with the pink Christmas collection that I have over here and so that's why I bought a couple of those they're puffy stickers um, I'm working on what's on the desk and then we'll move to the basket um, I got glitter I got stickles in this purple that I did not have I love working with stickles that's my favorite alternate glue for decorating things and making things shine and then I bought these metallic gilding polishes these are I can't see who makes these but I bought this doesn't just says purple mist and this one is electric blue and so we'll be playing with these in a future tutorial as well okay now let's go to the basket it's a big it's full and I'm going to try to do this gracefully I'm going to since everything's in the basket I'm going to have to pile on either side of me so let's start with this file folder of fun things charming extras vintage from craft to clock apparently I have a baggie here that needs to go and these are all, um, they all have to be fussy cut out. Um, I thought about maybe trying my scan and cut, but if you'll notice, whatever's on, let's look at this clock. The clock is right here. If you flip it over, this wasn't one of them. There's one in here where they're duplicated. The butterfly, let's look at this moth, and there he is. So you get the mirrored image, so you get the double sided on those some of these did that apparently not all of them this one does there's the phone and there's the phone and it's the mirror image the typewriter ones do that the florals do that now this one doesn't these florals are like this and then you have these here but I think I have two pages of everything so that if they don't mirror, I still get pieces, yeah. So this one I could use. This one, where'd that other one go? This one. Oh, and they're a vintage. Yeah, there's the vintage, there's the pairs there, but if you flip it over, this is the back. So I have these to play with. Some of those items will work good in my Men Who Built America series. And I've got some other items here I'm going to show you. If you've not seen the Men Who Built America series on the History Channel, it's really good. Um, and I've chosen to do a junk journal based on them. And I think I'm going to make a counterpart of the wives who built, or the women who built America that are the wives of those men and what their contribution was. Um, then we have this by Stamperia. This is a rice paper. Uh, round about the North Pole and I love this with this cute little see the little sea sea otter down here polar otter so there's that one and there will be another one in here with rice papers and transfer sheets I'm gonna set the paper over to the side for now and there's a lot of it I had two big priority boxes and they were heavy because, you know, paper weighs a ton. Uh, I think I'm good here. This is another set that I bought for the men who built America. The Life is a Journey from Graphic 45. I have paper pads over here. I have other embellishments that go in this set. And so, just to make sure I had enough of what I wanted. Because um, they'll also go in the Titanic, in the Titanic Journal and in my uh, Downton Abbey Journal. So I look forward to using all of this Life is a Journey, Not a Destination set for my journals. And this is from Graphic 45. Okay, then I have, I want to hang on to this one. Remember that wolf paper, that wolf rice paper I showed you? Um, this is part of that same collection. These are their die cuts. And there's a little bit of everything in here. Uh, globes and the polar bears and the sea otters and there's the wolf so there's that one and I've got another paper in here that kind of goes with that let me see if I can find it really fast this one would work this is also Stamperia but it doesn't say 
what this line is from, but it is the, the Polar North. Um, and there's this one, the whales in the ocean. I love these journaling cards. South Pole, uh, the whale, Arctic, the North Pole. I love those. Here's some tall tags that could work for that and that beautiful water background. I have, there's that wolf again. I have purchased all of the sea type papers from um, Stampin' Up! that will coordinate beautifully with this paper. Okay, and then we've got uh, Blue Land from Stamperia. Can you tell I love Stamperia? Their papers, there's Chow Bellas and Craft O'Clock are just amazing. Oh, and Mente. And it amazes me how many of these names I had never heard about till I started uh, shopping with Maddie at Spectrum Art Creations. Um, this is their Blue Land, and I'm going to kind of do this. You'll get to see parts of the sheets. This is the fronts, the backs. I think this would be beautiful for my January journal for next year. Postcards, full sheets. I love that lantern with the flowers. The circles. Tags. Um framed prints, more tags and, and postcards. How cute would it be to take this and turn this into, cut this out and turn this into an actual pocket and background? Both of those. There's another one there in the envelopes. Or to maybe try to make them fit onto an envelope, maybe even. Let's do that. Greetings for you with love. I love the blues in here. Just beautiful. Okay, so that is all of uh, Blue Land. These, I don't know for sure, let me see. This is Vintage Christmas, and I have other Vintage Christmas items over on the shelf. And these are Blue Fern Studios. There's this one, Christmas Wishes 25. Love this garland. Yours and mine at Christmas time. Look at these, to cut these out. Oh, excuse, oh, excuse me. We are 59 degrees today and I have windows open and I'm gonna pay for it. And I just looked out the office window and my daffodils are coming up. They're gonna be in for a shock. I uh, love this with the candy and the floral and the fruits. And then the vintage uh, Christmas ad paper. I know there's two sheets there. Oh, well, actually, there's another one there yet. I thought maybe not. Almost has a vintage wallpaper look to it. I'm going to have to use this for my December daily. I have several of those to get caught up on. Let it snow. This, I love that. And there's that green. So that is uh, Vintage Christmas from... Um, Blue Fern Studios. Then I have this book from American Crafts, Let It Snow. Did you know that American Crafts offers digital downloads on their website? You want to check them out. And I'm going to turn this one sideways because the paper goes up. So I have all these pieces here I can work with. These pieces on the back. And then we have these papers on the inside. This is just, this is a close-up of bark. Interesting. Is that? Uh, that's kind of pretty with the house in the background. I love that. Uh, uh, plant urn through a snowstorm. Santa. And these are all single-sided, so um, makes them great for having the picture on the front and journaling on the back. I love this walking down the street in a snowstorm. After the snow, taxi maybe in a New York. I love this how they've lined the trees this away with the lights instead of wrapping them. I think it defines the, the trees better. Um, the lamp post. <laughs> the tree with the star and the lights and the snow. 
As we looked through these, we tried to pick out where we thought some of these were at. This is probably in New York or Chicago. Um, I think this is in Central Park. This is in Paris. No, actually, it's New York City, 2000. Interesting. I have taken pictures like this of my trees in the backyard. And then it repeats. So that is Let It Snow by American Crafts. Well, we are 15 minutes in and lots to go through. This is Winter is Coming. And this is from uh, Maja Design. And there's only one or two sheets of that in there. But these are accessory pieces. But I also have two 6x6 six six pads of this one. This will give you an idea of what's in there. And we'll flip through really quick. And everything has four sheets in a 6x6, six because six, they take a 12x12, 12 12, cut it in fours for 6x6. Six six. Makes sense, right? And there's this one. This one reminds me of wallpaper. But I love this plaid on the back. This is kind of an interesting pattern. I'm trying to get the other four. And when you turn it over, it has snowflakes on the back. Rosy pink snowflakes. Um, smaller print of that. When you turn it over, you have the red plaid. I love this one. I can see so many beautiful tags made from this. Um, or a 6x6 album. You got the deer on the back of that one. And then these are the smaller pieces of this 12x12. 12 12, minus the tree ones. And that one. So that is uh, Winter is Coming from Maja Designs. Okay. And then I have this one from Graphic 45. This is Ephemera Queen. And I'll flip through this one, but I also have it in the bigger sheets. So we'll look at the smaller ones, and then I'll just slide the bigger sheets to the side. This is from Graphic 45. And I'm going to have to go this way, I think. All the card pieces, the tickets picture tearing around her and then I think you're able to see the back sides of those papers. Graphic 45 always does such a neat job. I want to go back and see what videos I can find from the Graphic 45 designers that have used this and see what they've done. I love these little piece cut aparts. Love these. Those are great for pocket inclusions. And being the 6x6 there's four. Uh, no, this is an 8x8, eight eight, sorry. So there's three of each one and an 8x8. Eight eight. And then we have all the cards here. Look at the boudoir background. I love that. Yeah, life is nothing without passion. Makes me wish I spoke French. And then there's these pieces here. And then you always get ephemera pieces that you can use for templates. Okay, so there's that one from, that's Ephemera Queen from Graphic 45. Here are ephemera stickers. They peel right off and they're stickers to go with that line. And then I also have the Ephemera Queen and the 12x12. And there's another sheet of those. So there's the Ephemera Queen and the 12 by 12. But look how look at the difference in the size. These are traditional playing card size as opposed to the smaller ones. And then we have this is uh, Maja Designs also. This is Little Street Cafe. These would be lovely in a tea journal or coffee. Happiness is a cup of coffee shared with a friend. My sister and I share coffee every morning online just about. And then this one is from Stamperia. This is the Grand Hotel. Their big pad. And I'm going to go this way. So you get a shot of both pages. Of the journaling cards here. And there. Look at the tags. And I think I can run these through my scan and cut and cut those out. I'll have to give it a shot. I 
look at these to remember and it's got the day uh, the month cards and then over here you have the month cards here and they do they they're back to back so while you couldn't use these as an actual planner you could if you're doing a January scrapbook page you could circle the date that something occurred there and use those and journal on the back I love this pattern I just love this pattern and then you have these for traveling. These might be good in my Women Who Built America series. I have a lampshade similar to this, uh, crocheted in cream, that my sister, Crafty Lady Creations, made me years ago. I've just never found the proper lamp to put it on. Okay, papers are done. Okay, now we have... This is uh, from Chow Bella. I love the snowflake stencil. I didn't have a good one. Love that. Okay. Um, Heidi Swap. Uh, the spiderweb lanterns. Uh, there's one lantern in here, but it gives me four panels to use um, in a Halloween journal. So that'll work nicely. I'm going to try not to let everything hit the floor over here as I pile it around. I'm going to see if I can. Here's another stencil. This one is from Spectrum Art Creations. A little bit taller and a little bit wider than a Tim Holtz um, stencil if you want an approximation of the size. There we go. I love the different flowers on this one. Um, for some reason, I bought a Project Life kit. I don't need another one, but I bought one. It shows all the pieces on the back, and I will be showing... Uh, in my organizational series, I'll be showing my Project Life cabinet in a future video. Um, I'm trying to pick up all the napkins here. Do those all at once. Oh, I, I storied. I still have paper. These are extra pieces for the Life as a Journey uh, from Graphic 45 that I'm using for my Menu Built America, my Downton Abbey, and my Titanic. More papers. I think that's the end of them. Okay. Napkins. Uh, these are chipboard pieces that match that, uh, the puppy stickers I showed you in the beginning of the Pink Christmas from Prima. I love that tree. Love that tree. Okay. Uh, postcards from, that are specially created by Spectrum Art Creations. The bees. Snow Princess, the gnome hauling home his Christmas tree, and the bird. And I believe, I want to say this is a female cardinal, but I could be wrong. But those are exclusive to Spectrum Art Creations. Their daughter, Madison, helps design some of these things. Um, <laughs> one of the blessings of autism is... They can have such an amazing creative eye. Whoops. More paper. <laughs> Mente door book. Years ago, when we first moved down here, I had the, in the vision of creating a junk journal with a vintage door plate on the front. And I was done buying the day that these came up. And I saw this book and I just had to have it. Because it's all different types of doors. Beautiful for journaling cards, tags. Um, creating openings on pages. I'm going to love playing with that one. Um, these are not papers. These are what I told you I had coming up. These are the transfer pages, transfer sheets. Um, dress my craft. This is romantic roses. And then we have this rice paper from Stamperia. That is all Christmas, vintage Christmas. I love that one. Okay. Napkins. And I'm not going to take these out, so they're going to be a little blurry. For some reason, I have two packages of no Christmas gnome napkins. I have this one with the snowman getting snowman being put together, and then this one with the snowman offering love and comfort to the winter animals around him. I have this one with the garland and the snowflake. I love this color of blue with winter. It's pretty. Then I have this one, which is the, um, maybe I think forget-me-nots. Or violets, wild violets with the uh, bee comb. Have this tissue with the bird and the Christmas berries on it. 
another one of those with the snowman. And I have another, here it is, I was going to say, I have another napkin in here. This one I took out of the package on the first reel because I wanted to show it off. I saw Madison's project where she used this and it was just gorgeous. I had to have a set with the uh, English lavender. So I have that one. Okay, there's my napkins. Okay, now this is why I wanted to do this haul. I needed to know what I had. One of which is a package of Tim Holtz's transparent wings. There's 72 pieces in here. I just bought another package Saturday. <laughs> uh, wow embossing uh, glitter. This is Winter Splash. Or, and I love this. Love that color. And let's see. Um, small CD envelopes. These originally came three black, three white to a package. But my sister has purchased those little four inch uh, pie boxes at Walmart where you get the little individual pies in them. And she's making a journal out of one and these were perfect for that so I sent her one of each. Um, I've been wanting this die set for a very long time. I have joined the Rolodex uh, journal group on Facebook and I so I wanted to have these. I have lots of the other Heidi Swap pieces. Bought a lot of them when they went on clearance three or four years ago, but I never got the dies. They were always gone. So I have these. Buttons for embellishments. Plastic buttons from Imagine Ice. And this is the reversals on those. Tim Holtz uh, jewelry charms. I have some of these, but these images will match the paper dolls that I have. So they're nice coordinating charms to put into journals where I use those paper dolls at. A uh, set of playing cards, and these have a nice gold reflective finish on them, and they're bordered in green and bordered in gold. I thought these would be good in an Irish album, which I still haven't done one for myself. I did one for my sister a couple of years ago. I want to do one for me. Brad's, these are adorable. And I bought these because they're good for two of my journals. Actually three. They would work in um, my Downton Abbey. They'll work well in my Men Who Built America series. And in my Alice journals. And they are in gold and in silver. Little stopwatch brads. Okay. And this video is still going to come out in 30 minutes. Regardless. Okay. Um, another stencil. This was a freebie I won. Laser cut stencil from Little Birdie. And then I have these charms. I bought two packages of these. They're Little Cat and the Crescent Moon charm. Perfect for my witch albums. And sharing with my witchy friends. Um, I also have these cute little gnomes. I'm not a gnome person, but these will be cute on my garden journal. Then I have two packages of the cat charms, which I'm kind of a crazy cat lady, so those are perfect. These adorable little, I think I figured out these are about an inch and a half by two and a half playing cards. Brand new deck, 52 cards in a deck. Perfect size for little hands or altering for tuck-ins in smaller pocket areas. I'll put those back later. Now here's something you probably haven't seen before. And I bought them only because I just thought they were cool. If you've ever played games like Candyland, where you have a person or something that stands in a holder to move around your board, there you go. Bob and I have talked about designing a river game. You know, maybe when he retires and we can work on something together. Those might come in handy. And then I have two packages each of book corners. Got them in the gold and in the silver, and I can always color these a different color if I want with my uh, alchemy, wa um, yeah, my alchemy waxes. And then I have this little, there's two of these in here, I do believe, of these little medallion pieces. We are at the bottom. Woohoo! Okay, I have a washi tape I'm not going to open, but you will see this in future projects, and I will point out that it was what I bought at Maddie's stores. Um, this was a Christmas freebie. Uh, passport size 64 blank page notebook. Merry Christmas from Spectrum Art Creations. 
Then I have these Alice in Wonderland cards. I believe these were a gift. There's the Macmillans of Alice. The Rocking Horse Dragonfly, Alice having a discussion with the Queen. So there's those. And this lace, I was not going to buy any more lace. I don't need any more lace. But somebody mentioned that this was perfect to use as masks on Tim Holtz, on the large Tim Holtz paper dolls. Check that out. Harlequin mask for, for the Tim Holtz paper dolls. Interesting concept. So, I had to have a package of that. And we're done. Woohoo! That is all for my winter, December uh, 2021 Spectrum Art Creations hauls. In a couple of weeks, we'll have a new one coming up. If you like seeing all that I've pulled out of here, and if there's anything in particular you want me to use in a tutorial, leave me a comment down below, and I will add it to my uh, upcoming tutorial list and get it up just as soon as I can. There's quite a list building from uh, tutorial requests. So um, remember, Friday's tutorial is the Stamperia textured molds and cream paste. So if you've never played with that, you bought it and wondered what to do with it, come on back and join me. In the meantime, I'm headed out to, I will, as I'm recording this, I am getting ready to head out to Holland Firewood because it's almost 60 degrees here on Monday afternoon, which was yesterday as you're seeing this. Today is forecasted to be much colder. So uh, I want to get the outside chores done. So in the meantime, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Click the notification and create a blessings.